Hello everyone, welcome to 9.03M, or magnitude 9.03 depending on how you want to say it. Now I could describe the game in my own words, but I think the official description is probably the best, so I'm just going to read it. Magnitude 9.03 is a short first-person art-slash-empathy game for PC. Not a game in the traditional sense of the word, it aims to humanize and remember the victims of the 2011 Japanese tsunami. The media is quick to put figures to death tolls in such disasters, and Magnitude 9.03 tries to remind people of the individuals behind those figures. Magnitude 9.03 is set on Baker Beach in San Francisco, where debris from the tsunami has washed ashore in the years following the tsunami. So I thought this was really interesting just right off the bat because it made me kind of reflect and think about how they're right, about how the media often puts death tolls to things, large death tolls to disasters, and it's not, it really isn't very humanizing. It's just, it's a number. It's disturbing. I mean, when you see, you know, 10,000 people killed, 100,000 people killed, 5,000 people killed, when you see a figure like that, it's not, it really doesn't humanize the people behind it at all. It's just a number. So I really like what they're trying to do with this. I think it's a really interesting idea. I want to thank uh, one of my viewers, Gravity Guy, for telling me about the game because I hadn't heard about it before. Not at all. I actually haven't heard a single thing about this game. It seems to have gone basically completely under the radar. I'm not really sure why. So it is available on Steam and Desora, and half of all money the developers receive goes to a charity called Aid for Japan. And once they break even, all the money will then go to... all of it will go to Aid for Japan. So once again, I really like what they're doing here. It's just... It's a very... I guess, pure project, you could say. They're obviously not even really trying to make money. Not that there'd be anything wrong with that, necessarily, but... They're not even trying to do that. They just want to... Humanize the, uh... The people. In the disaster. I think that's really interesting. I really admire that. So without further ado, let's get going. Find the butterflies. I think I can do that. So as always, I like to analyze the games that I play a bit and kind of think about them. And right off the bat... One thing I've really noticed and really struck, um, strike me just from the screenshots alone is just the graphic style. Which is very interesting. Don't think I've seen a style quite like this before. Everything's very soft and... Yeah, just very soft and glowy and very blue, which lends everything a very calm feeling. I like it. Even the trees themselves just look kind of, they look like they're made out of clouds almost. Look at them. Everything's just so soft. Very beautiful. All right, let's find the butterflies. Looks like there's a little glowy trail here. It's a person. It looks like the person that was in the menu screen. Looks like they're just looking out at the ocean. Can 
They're gone. Move the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen to rotate the item. Find the clue and click it. Ooh. There's a butterfly. Oh, find the butterflies. Like, right there? I'm guessing that was the name of one of the victims, and an object from them. Something they loved, something they, something they did, something they interacted with, something that was relevant to their lives. You know, I almost want to just go off on the beach and just walk off into the distance. But no, there's time for that later. Let's keep going. Oh, it's a ring. There's the butterfly, it's tiny. Love, life, and happiness together. A box? A book? What is that? It's a box. What's in it?
Oh, it's a, a watch? A locket? a toy. A toy train. It's missing a wheel. Look like a mother and father. Maybe trying to save their child? A teddy bear missing an eye. I guess it's been through a lot. As toys often are.
Teddy. dedicated to the unique men, women, and children who lost their lives or are still missing as a result of the tsunami that devastated Japan on March 11, 2011. That was absolutely beautiful. You know, before I start talk talking about it, actually, I think it'd be appropriate to talk about it while walking on the beach. Let's do that. Let's go explore around the beach while talking about it. Let's just walk off into the distance. It's a pretty large beach, I think. Which way should I go, left or right? Let's go right. Yeah, let's just take a look around. So yeah, I really like this game. Really, really like it. It's so beautiful. Let's see. So let's dig into it a little bit. I already mentioned the graphics. It's... It's just everything's so soft and fuzzy and... I guess, just blue. Like, everything is just very... It's a, it's a mixture of calming. It's very calm. It kind of feels like everything is frozen in time, almost. But also, it's very melancholy. Yeah, I just really like the art style. The music is beautiful. The the sound design is very good. They didn't they didn't need to do much. There's really not much you need to do, but what they did do is just perfect. Just the sound of every footstep in the sand. Perfect. The sound of the waves, just rhythmic and calming. Just perfect. And the overall idea is just one I really like, of the idea of humanizing the victims in a way that you don't really get from just reading a news report that says, you know, this many people died. And it's amazing how much you can humanize people by, do by doing so little, because it didn't, it didn't delve deep into these people's lives. It just did, and it didn't need to. It's just the most basic of things, just showing an item that was relevant to their lives. A teddy bear. A child's teddy bear, a child's toy. A ring with an inscription on it. I wonder if I can go up here. 
No, I can't. Let's go around. Yeah, so you don't you don't know much about their lives, but it's enough. It's enough to create a connection. Whoa, what's happening? That's strange. My view gets... Got darker for a second. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's enough to create a connection just to see something that simple. Something that you can identify with so much. A child... You know, a child with a teddy bear that's... They've, they've played with it for so long that it's missing an eye. I mean, who can't identify with that? Whoa. What's happening? Oh, I guess I went off track, so it teleported me back to the start. Let's go to the left now. Yeah, I mean, everyone can identify with that. You love a toy, you play with it all the time, it gets beat up. So it's so simple. And that's all it needs to do. And as the very last scene showed, when you had just a massive group of people all out there, it just drives home that everybody has the same thing. Everybody, each individual person, all have their own lives. Their own people. Their own unique personalities. It's just beautiful. It's interesting. It's kind of like... It feels almost like a... When you find um, an object and you, you click on the butterfly. And the butterfly comes out and the item kind of... Disappears. And there's a really happy... Happy little bit of music that plays. It's very joyous. It's kind of almost like a celebration. I feel like it's a little bit of a celebration of life. Like it's joyful. When you look at that. But it's also sad, of course. It's both. What happens if I just walk into the water? We're back here. I just feel so happy when this happens. Let's let's do one more. So we can hear that. That sound. Yeah, with that sound that plays, it's like... I just feel as if it's... Ah, what's the right way to put it? I don't know, maybe it sounds strange, but it just feels like it's saying... Life is beautiful. But then, of course... Life can be brief. So it's, it's happy and it's sad. All at the same time. Okay, well, I don't know if I can think of much else to talk about. I think I've touched on everything I wanted to. Once again, I really like this game. It's, I think it's really beautiful. So to end it, I think what I'll do to end it is, let's just go up to the water. Not quite that far. Let's back up a little bit. 
There we go. We're just on the beach. Looking out into the ocean. Just like the person in the menu screen. And... I'm just gonna crank up the volume. Crank up the sound of the rhythmic waves. Coming up and down the beach. And... I'll just have that for the last minute or two of the video. I think it's really beautiful. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Magnitude 9.03. Thank you for watching.